Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing one of the most popular bug bounty tool which is named as Nuclei. So this is the fastest and one of the, and you can customize this vulnerability scanner based on your requirements and all it requires is few .yaml files and uh, you are very good to go. So first of all, uh, you will find the link for all the things that I am going to mention in the description below so you can go and check them out and also this tool is uh, from project discovery so they made some several uh, very good tools or uh, which are good for bug bounty so whether it can be recon or whether it can be for scanning so you can check their repository as well so all the links will be in the description below so you can go and check there check from there and uh, coming to here so so this is the uh, link so in order to install this is very simple so just copy this command here so this is a single line command and also make sure you have go language installed so you can, and also you can run this tool on windows as well i saw people running this tool on windows and it works fine but if you are a guy who uh, uses linux uh, whether it can be ubuntu uh, or fedora or kali or whatever it is so installing linux it can be a bit hard so i made a simple video on that i leave the link for that in the description below you can go there and check that out and follow the steps it is going to be very simple okay so just copy this thing Okay, just copy this command and uh, open your uh, uh, choice, uh, open your uh, distro or operating system of your choice. For me, it is going to be WSL uh, Ubuntu. So I'm just going to paste this command. Okay, so here uh, it is going to take some time because it is going to install a lot of the requirements. In the meantime, uh, let's see, uh, it's already installed because I'm already using this tool for a while. So let's go to the location okay so this is the location where it is going to be so this is nuclei so dot slash nuclei and hyphen hyphen help let's check whether it is installed properly or not yes it is installed properly it has a lot of options uh, we cannot cover all this in this video so we will cover the basic thing okay like how you can do scanning and how you can identify the vulnerabilities very simple uh, very simply using this particular uh, nuclei okay so let's go back so for nuclear as i told you there are there will be some templates so templates in the sense like for example let's go to uh for example let's go to the http okay you'll find uh, for example this is http related uh, files for example let's go to the osint folder and here you can see there are several yaml files all these yaml files are some sort of like to keep it simple these are some sort of like nmap scripting engine sort of scripts so okay so they are specified to do some sort of task so what you can do here is like you need to install this so like you can just clone this repository or uh, one thing you can do is like uh, when you uh, run this thing so nuclei and when you can just put the url okay so the url option is going to be hyphen u very simple uh, okay so url is going to be u if you have list of uh, urls you can provide a text file with option hyphen l okay so that's good so now let's go with okay let's go with google.com okay so So for the first time there may be no uh, no templates found so what it is going to do is like it is going to install the templates for the first time but as i told you i'm using this tool for some while so i'm not going to have that issue so it is running directly for me and you can see uh, these are some temp uh, these are some yaml or these are some automated uh, uh, stuff that is going on it's trying to find out some stuff like uh, uh, ssl dns names and sort of stuff so let me hit Control c okay so because the thing here is like uh, uh, like it is running all the uh, you know all the attacks all the scripts or all the yaml files which is not required for us and also one more thing guys you can just move this nuclei to user bin so like something like sudo nuclei uh, sudo mv nuclei to a user and bin okay so so that you can access this nuclei from anywhere okay so let me hit control cd and if i do an ls you can see i'm having nuclear templates for example if i go to this nuclear templates okay so if i go to this uh, http right so let's do a simple scan http uh yeah nuclei as i told you i already added it to the path okay so hyphen t is for running tags okay so http okay osint and let's run all those okay so this is how you basically do it so if you want to run some specific, uh, you know, like some sort of scripts, no results found because it may not be vulnerable or it may not able to try to find out some information that's happening. 
okay so that is one thing you can do like uh, i saw few of people whenever there is some new repo- new uh, vulnerability or new cve so they go bonkers and they report so uh, report that vulnerability on every company uh, there they are using nuclei so they are going to create their own template a nuclei template or they are going to download some nuclei template that is already available and they go uh, then they'll try to run that on all their targets so for example i'll tell you an example like how you can use some uh, other uh, uh, you know this template and how you can do it so for example there is log4j so log4j you may all know it so it's one of uh, you know some vulnerability which is which was like very popular in 2021 so these are some yaml files for example let's go here so you can just download this let's go to raw uh, let's copy this okay cd space dot dot w get and let's paste this okay let's give hyphen hyphen no check mm. okay so sometimes it requires so now it is downloaded if i do an ls you can see log forge detector yaml files you can simply search for them okay for example if you uh, want to if you are if some uh, vulnerability like some vulnerability is going on you can just search for the name and the yaml file and also i'll release uh, and also i'll mention a cool uh, uh, resource as well in the description below which explains you how you can write your own templates as well if you are interested in that okay and also there are so many templates you can they are just a search away okay so you can just do that and you can find out several uh, which are outside okay which are third party that uh, general uh, people from our community wrote okay so now let's uh, run this script so the template just give hyphen t and just give the log for j okay that's it very simple so you can see it loaded one scan because we are only running for one uh, you know one template so let's wait no results found so sometimes if for example if your target is vulnerable for this thing so i don't know what this particular script is based on so it is searching for uh, you know detect for the logs maybe it is checking for whether it is vulnerable or not and there is one more script as well which is uh, which is used to identify you know the web application firewall i guess so you need to just go through that uh, yaml file or just go through the description so that you can understand what's happening like this is for the waf bypass okay so like everything has their own stuff so like this guys like you can use this particular nuclei and you can automate lot of stuff so once i tried so there was something like f4 servers there is some there was a vulnerability on the f4 servers uh, and uh, there were and i i downloaded or like i got one uh, this lock uh, this template related to that and i ran over like 100 targets and uh, you know i was able to find out on few and i reported them but uh, th those are like uh, duplicates because everyone does that so if you are into this vulnerability scanning or if you want to you know automate some stuff so you can uh, add this nuclei to your uh, toolkit and uh, that is it guys like there are so many options as well you can go through them and you can customize them based on your requirements and uh, this is just a basic intro of this tool like what you can do with this tool and uh, like as i told you there are several options that you can do with this tool and also guys if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this bug bounty and penetration testing and if you have any doubts or anything you can check out my discord server and if you want to connect with me personally you can check out my twitter and the linkedin all the links are in the description below this is satvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you